the Armtech Con 2016 and uh, who are you? I'm Thomas Saget, I am a Product Marketing Director for the Cortex-M processors. So um, you launched here the show Cortex-M23, Cortex-M33. Correct. And this yes. is a big deal, right? It's the first time you have uh, Arm V8M? Correct. So these are two new processors on the new architecture, the Arm V8M architecture. Um, and it's the first processors which include Trust Zone, or the very first small Cortex M, including Trust Zone. We have the Cortex M23, which is optimized for the for the smallest area, smallest power, for the for the most constrained IoT nodes. And we have the Cortex M33, which is uh, offering much more features, uh, based also on the V8M architecture, having Trust Zone, but also new features like the compositor interface. It has DSP. It has the FPU. So yeah, definitely for more capable uh, IoT nodes. So is the upgrade for Cortex M0 Plus and Cortex M4, Cortex M3? Um, maybe, maybe even, I'm not sure if upgrade is the right word. It's, it's complementary to the existing products, okay? So the, the M0 Plus or the M0, M3, M4, and M7 will remain. And this is now bringing more security, so the, the Trust Zone Security Foundation at the, at the very heart of these processors. And we believe um, all processors will still coexist. Uh, but yes, if you are building a, a secure IoT nodes, you'll be served with the M23 or the Cortex M23. So what's the main uh, advantage of the Cortex, uh, of the ARM V8M? And what is security? Is a lot about security? Correct. So um, there's security with Trust Zone and with other features. Uh, there's also a much better scalability so within the uh, architecture of VM, we have two profiles. We have the, the baseline profile, on which is based the Cortex-M23, and we have the mainline profile, which is the basis of the Cortex-M33. And it's very smooth now to move from the baseline to the mainline architecture, uh, in terms of system level, in terms of number of interrupt, in terms of instructions. And uh, it makes both for the chip designers and for the software developer, which is more easy to, uh, to migrate from one core to the other. And so it's very, very important. It's the, big, it's the most important thing right now for IoT is security, right? Are Correct. You gonna, yeah. Are you solving this right now? Yeah, so we are, we are, we are solving, in fact, uh, many things. Uh, there is security with the with Trust Zone Security for Foundation. Um, we are still also very power aware. So even with security, the Cortex M33 will have the same energy efficiency as the Cortex M4 and uh, a Cortex uh, M23 will remain the same energy efficiency within M0+. Plus. So for IoT, yes, security is key, but also um, cost and, and energy efficiency. Does it go in lower nanometer? Yeah. Is that part of the considerations right here to save uh, power consumption or no? Yeah, it will, but you know, all our processors are, are in fact um, process agnostic. So you can, uh, you can build uh, Cortex M23 or M43 on any kind of process. Okay, so all the process, uh, like 180 nanometers, down to 40 nanometers, 28, 16, 10, whatever you need, in fact. So is your job talking with all the customers at ARM that do Cortex-M and, and talking to them and saying, hey, it's a great idea, you should get the, you should use the M33 or the 23 and... So, so in fact, my, my job is indeed to, to be the interface between the, the customers, their, the problems they have to solve in our engineering. Um, in fact, we don't really have to sell the product now because if you look at the announcement, uh, we have already seven official lead partners. Uh, we have uh, we have uh, analog device, uh, we have Silicon Labs, we have ST, we've got Microchip, we have um, well, Nuvoton, for example. So in fact, the products are already well accepted. So the M23 and M33 are already in design um, at our partners. And we, ex we expect to have the first chip from our lead partners uh, somewhere, somewhere next year. And uh, Embed OS, uh, Embed Cloud, uh, all that security stuff is going to be ready for this? Um, yes, correct. So it's part of the, of the bigger picture. So we're launching processors. We're also launching uh, um, system IP for, for security. So the, uh, the calling system IP, SSC uh, 200, SIE 200. Um, we're launching, launching also a new crypto cell product uh, uh, for, to enhance uh, and to fortify the system with cryptography, with secure, secure key storage. We're also launching radio with, with a cordial radio and all the, all the embed OS supporting V8M. 
and also the embed cloud. So it's very easy, the, the complete chain of security from the node, from the sensor, up to the server. All right, so looking forward to a, a secure IoT embedded world. With our partners and with the ecosystem, definitely, yes. Thank you very much.